And we're back now with business and tenants of the Barbados Investment Development Corporation or BIDC are again being put on notice. If you are contributing to the $4.6 million in arrears, the corporation is coming for its money. Chief Executive Officer Sandra Trotman says they are focusing on about 43 companies for eviction. As we speak, there are 10 companies that should be receiving notices to quit because we have found that several of the long-standing clients and some of them, especially in Pelican Industrial Estate, they're not paying. And Pelican is the biggest drain on the BIDC. We lose about a million each year maintaining Pelican because the rents are very small, because traditionally it was created for small businesses. But if we have these small businesses and they're not paying their rents, then we have a problem. And, and that is our you know, major area of concern. Now, during the estimates debate in the lower house, Ms. Trotman also appealed for some money to maintain the buildings leased by the corporation, noting that they needed work badly. And she was responding to a question posed by Culture Minister John King about how many buildings on the various industrial estates were available for rental. The CEO says 86% of the buildings are occupied, while 4% cannot be leased. A local manufacturer, Oran Limited, has stood the test of time and its chief executive officer, Scott Oran, says since 1968, Oran has grown from a small company of 40 employees to one that provides a sustainable product and employs about 200 people. Mr. Oran was speaking to the media ahead of a tour of the company's Harbour Road location with Labour Minister Colin Jordan and ministry officials earlier this week. He says in a manufacturing environment, productivity is pivotal. You don't wave a wand and expect a result. It's about hard work. And in a manufacturing environment, it's all about productivity. And we've touched on that briefly. And it is always a moving target. Um, we have employees here that have been working with our company for over 50 years. Um, many people over the last 10 years have been retiring because they've reached that age. Some have actually continued with us. We have some folks that you may meet today on the tour that actually are uh, officially retired but continuing to work under contract and are as physically capable of doing the kind of work that we do here as much younger people because the job um, functions have been designed in such a way that everything doesn't require dexterity and manual labor. And time now to take a look at how those stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. Jamaica, Sajakor Bank JA Class B was the volume leader with 15 million units. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 111,751 shares changing hands, all for a value of $201,101.80. And here in Barbados, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, SCC Development Fund, was the volume leader, trading 100,733 shares at 20 cents each.